Good afternoon, University of Kansas. How do you hear me? We had this really cool opportunity. This former alumni, Laurel Hara, came and, or I guess she didn't come. She was talking to us from the ISS. Rock shot. I got my Jayhawk team too. Looking back, what was the most difficult part of reaching the position you're in today? In the training leading up to this mission, the most challenging thing was just juggling the diversity of knowledge that you're acquiring in that amount of time. Like the spacewalk training that we do in the neutral buoyancy lab has been some of the most challenging, but also some of the most rewarding training that I've gotten to do. Launch day is one of my favorite days of my life. I just remember waking up with this um, deep sense of calm and readiness. You get to the end of the countdown and suddenly the whole rocket just comes alive. It's pretty amazing being in extended microgravity. I have a vivid memory of the microgravity flights that I did with Kansas where the plane started to nose over and do the zero-g dive. I just like just used one finger and like pushed myself off the surface and was floating and it was just the coolest feeling and now it's just like that and it's been like that for four and a half months so I almost don't remember what gravity feels like. And then of course seeing Earth from space, it's reinforced what an incredibly beautiful and complex and diverse planet we have and recognize uh, what a special place we have to call home.